What's up YouTube? How's it going? I'm back again for another random video. I'm going to be unboxing this Danby 6 cubic feet foot upright freezer. got this at Costco. Uh, let's do the measurements real quick with the box so you guys know what you're getting. It's about 58 inches tall. It's fairly heavy. It will take at least two people to put in your truck. Uh, 23 inches wide. And yeah, 23 inches wide again. Okay. So without further ado, Scooby Doo. Let me just open this up here. Let's get the real measurements out of the box. Pick this up. Like I said, at Costco. 300 bucks. And it matches the color of my washer and dryer. Should probably be doing this outside. Since there's styrofoam, it's just the front. Oh, no. Front's over here. Oops. I want to wrap my blinds. I'm going to cut straight down. Careful not to cut the freezer. Nice to have the stand-up freezer, you know you can. Oh, geez, you can just slide it up. Never mind. Well, since my ceiling's so low, I'm cutting. Cool. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Where they put this tape around the styrofoam. Careful not to break this because this stuff is messy. But protects the product. Make sure you guys can still see that. Sorry for the lighting. There's only one light bulb in here. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. <laughs> All right. So we got temperature min, normal, and max. Now if you do tip it over, like I did, because it was raining, and I used I put under my tonneau cover in the truck, so it will fit if you have a tonneau. Depending on what tonneau cover you got, of course. If you got the hard hard plastic ones, they're not gonna lock into place after. Because it sticks up just a tad above the truck siding. Well at least in mine anyway. The doors are reversible, which are nice. It says it burns 34 bucks a year. And hydro. It's not overly huge, so that's kind of nice. So I think I'm going to swap the doors and put them the other way. <laughs> Before I show you the inside, let's just measure it again. It is sitting on the cardboard still, so it will be a little bit shorter than this. So it's 22 inches by 21 and a half inches. And it's about a little over 55 inches tall. So, you must wait 24 hours before turning on the freezer as the Freon needs to settle and it won't burn out your pump. So, there's your little dials right there. I wonder if it just. Okay, yeah, normal. Not sure why you'd want on minimum. I want minimum freezing. Oh, well, that's a it's decent size. For me and my little fam jam. 
And I'm sure you can take. Can you take these out? Oh no, because there's coils on it. So you can't remove these shelves. Because this is where the coils are to keep the food frozen. But you can remove the drawers. So you don't want too much. I hope you can remove the drawers. Yeah, okay. So the drawers are a little bit of a hassle. You get three of them. One, two, and three. The drawers are a hassle. Well, you can take them out. And they go back in just like that. And to swap the door, there's a little hole up there. Sorry for the lighting, but... Let's see this here. Hole to switch it. So you just... I did it with my fridge. It's kind of a pain in the ass to do it by yourself. But this door doesn't look too bad. It's better to have help. So yeah, I'm going to... Turn this back away on. I find the plug-in. It's the future. It doesn't come with a plug. I just want to hear how loud it is. I want to show you guys. Where did I put the plug? Right down here. Tuck it all away. In case anybody wants to see. Oh, I'm so mad that the lighting's bad. <clears throat> There it is, there's the, the bits. So the freezer's on, ready to go. This is what it looks like, all unboxed. And I uh, went to the store and filled it up. So here's what kind of storage room we're talking about here. I did take two plastic shelves out. As they weren't necessary, it's better to have it exposed like that, I find. I just left one in there. To have like um, the kids, uh, you know, ice creams and stuff. And it's much better that way. I just put the box food in here. I can hold quite a bit, a couple hundred bucks worth of food. Can't complain. Uh, so yeah, there you have it, YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more random videos. As I try to upload not so often. And I'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.